guys it's Maya welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I take my math notes especially that these are handwritten notes so if you guys want to know how I take my math notes then just keep on watching okay guys before I get into the note taking method I'm gonna just be showing you guys a view of how my notes look like and this is how they look like so if you guys don't like them then of course I would not waste your time but if you do like the way they look then I do suggest you keep on watching because I am very strategic when it comes to taking my math notes so I can actually understand what is going on and how to solve each problem So now for the supplies I use to take my math notes, I do use a lot of supplies here, but I mostly am in love with my mild liners and each color represents each category. Such as example, the blue is for highlighting my boxes, green is for highlighting my examples, such as example problems, red would be for highlighting my titles, highlighting my sections, and highlighting the title of the sections. Yellow would be highlighting my answers of each problem, which would help me a lot. And purple is for highlighting subtitles and vocabulary words. Now the rest of the supplies I use are pens. And one of these pens is the Papermate Flare Medium Pen. This pen is amazing when it comes to writing down my titles, my subtitles, my definitions, even drawing my graphs, which can sometimes seem a little bit dangerous. Then I like to use my Sharpie S gel pen to just draw out boxes, which you guys will see what I mean later in this video. Amazing, amazing pen. Lastly, I have my Papermate Clear Point Mechanical Pencil. This is in the point five millimeters and this mechanical pencil is so amazing, especially when writing down math notes and it's very easy for me to write with. Now for paper, of course, I like to use my grit line paper. This is actually the five star grit line paper and it is amazing. So now we're going to get to the nitty gritty and that is to start writing our math notes. The first thing I always like to do when writing my math notes is of course to always write the header and also the number of the chapter. Uh, going with that is I like to also write the section plus the title of the section so I know when studying my math notes or whatever I need to go back to look at an example, I know what section and what specific section I am under. So now I'm going to take my red mild liner and I'm just going to use a line and highlight it all the way through and the beginning of the paper. I did get this idea by a girl named Revazine. She is an amazing YouTuber and I absolutely love the way she did that with her notes and it looks so clean so I did the same with mine. Okay, so now we're going to be moving on to the subtitles. Subtitles for me are always going to be in the color purple and I always do like to use my mid liner in the color purple. So now we're going to be moving on to actually writing down the important information. This important information especially comes from lectures, from textbooks, and from PowerPoints. Now I do like to use symbols when it comes to making my notes. For example, I do have a square right here in my notes. To me that simplifies me that these notes actually came from the PowerPoint or from the lecture or from the textbook itself. Another symbol I do like to use when it comes to math notes is stars. Stars help me with just me providing my own information to understand the section a little bit more. But not only do I highlight my boxes in blue, I also like to highlight important information, important formulas, and important pictures. So now I am writing another subtitle and this subtitle is actually going to come with a box. I am going to be showing you guys how I make those 3D boxes because those help me a lot, especially that I'm a visual learner. So I really, really need to make a lot of 3D boxes in order for me to find where my formulas are at, where my vocabulary is at, so it does help me a lot. After writing down important information, I like to use my yellow mild liner to highlight any answers in my formulas. <laughs>
so now we are moving on to the example portion now the first thing I always like to do is of course abbreviate the word example and then now we get right into the whole example problem I like to write the whole problem out because it's gonna help me especially if I have this problem either on homework or on a test I can just look back and see how this problem is solved so this is why it's very important for you guys to write the full problem out trust me when I say it helps you in the end Okay, after writing down a step-by-step -step problem, I like to go back with my star symbols and I just like to add little notes for myself, such as saying here, okay, you added here or you factored out here. Trust me when I say this does help me a lot, especially when showing and seeing how the problem is working out. Then I like to go back with my green mild liner and highlight, of course, the example portion and highlight any variables or numbers that I used in this example so I know with or what I am solving for. Now here is where the hard part comes and this part mostly gives me anxiety especially when doing my notes but I do like to actually make my graphs with pen and I'm using my paper mate flare pen to draw my graphs and yes again without a freaking ruler but I just like to really comprehend on how all of it is going to work out overall my lines are pretty good I just need to practice a little bit more but then I just like to add additional information to my graphs and okay guys this is how I make my notes I would be showing you a whole section but we would literally be in this video for like 30 minutes even up to two hours but yeah this is basically how I just do my notes it is basically the same thing with all sections different pages so that's why I wanted to show you just a simple one page note taking method because again it is the same thing so as you can see the same highlighting format is the same the boxing format is the same so exactly the same thing and here is where I keep my notes in this three ring binder I do like to keep my notes in a three ring binder because I feel a little bit more organized I feel like I can take out a page and with like a notebook you really really can't do that you have to flip through pages to see which section you are on it's the same thing with the binder but I feel like you'll be able to find them a little bit more especially that you can probably separate each section with a divider which now that I think about it I should probably do that because it's gonna be hard for me to flip through pages especially when finding my sections but I don't know so this is why again I use a binder okay guys and that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed this video please make sure you like comment and subscribe and I really do hope you guys have an amazing day evening or night whatever date you guys are watching this on bye guys